What is going on everybody? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to our Clash of Clans village here in the world of Minecraft. As you can see, it is looking pretty damn amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really happy with how, how, this, how this has come out. Uh, I've now finished my outer layer completely. Uh, all the walls have been completed as well, as you can see. And we've also got all the stuff out to the kind of side areas here, which is the little trap zones uh, that we've designed. And everything is up to scratch. Now, since I've been doing this, obviously, I have upgraded my base and stuff. Uh, so my base does look a little bit different on Clash of Clans. But as you can see in the top right corner now, uh, this is exactly the build that I was basing it off. And it looks pretty damn fantastic. I think it looks so, so good. So we're going to go into it now uh, and have a little walk around. We actually want to create some doors so that we can access each one. Uh, so we don't have to jump over the... What should we do? Spruce doors? Yeah, let's do spruce. So we don't have to jump over the walls all the time. So let's go down and land in an archer tower. So you can see here the archer tower has like the main look over the base. Now I think actually some of these should have been a little bit taller. Uh, now I'm thinking about it, especially the balloons. You can see I've upgraded the balloons and made them a little bit bigger. Uh, but let's head on downstairs. Do do do. And let's go out here. So the village definitely needs some life put to it. And here is a bit of life. You weren't meant to be here yet. Where did you come from? I have an egg to spawn villagers, but I hadn't actually spawned any. Uh, so we're going to create little pathways through this base. Uh, just so that we can get around. So we need to start creating some doors. Uh, like so. Do, do, do. Because it makes no sense that the villagers can just jump around. Uh, is there a door from this one into that one? Yep, yeah, here's the door. I did make a few of them. Uh, but yeah, I want to show you kind of everything that's that's going around here. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spawning up a load of villagers to start populating our village. No, there's my god. Look how close it is to falling off. Let's see if I can push that back on. Go on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. It's a little bit more that way. There we go. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to spawn up some villagers and we're going to start populating this. So first of all is we need uh, some villagers in the clan castle because I know these are going to open doors. Um, okay. <laughs> He's literally just left the clan castle. Dude, what are you doing? You're meant to be, you're meant to be a clan castle guy. All right. The purple people are clan castle guys. Uh, let's have a king. Actually, I'm the king. I can't have a king. Let's put a villager in here. You are now the chef, I think. I don't know what you're meant to be, but you're you're now my town hall guy. Uh, what else have we got in here? Should we put one on a spring trap? Let's see what happens. You ready? Go! <laughs> oh, no, he ran off it. And he ran away. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, okay, so I actually put on top of my wizard towers. Loads of you guys suggested putting a little painting thing on there like that, uh, which looks pretty cool. If I put a villager up here, uh, he would just jump straight off, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go and put some villagers in our archer towers. Hopefully... Uh, they won't jump off. I don't know if villagers can actually... How many do you have? Do you have three or do you have four? I think we have three. I'm going to put three down. Hopefully, they don't jump off. Uh, if they do, they'll probably hopefully climb back up. So, let's see where we need to put some more in this archer tower. Oh, yeah. White coats. Looking cool. Uh, I'm going to put three in each archer tower for now. Uh, we may need to update it and put a fourth in if that's how many we have. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, buddies. Oh, purples. Purple ones in that one. <laughs> yeah, spawn them inside each other. Uh, this one, and then one more. And there we have it. So all our archer towers are now populated. Oh, baby villager. You just fell down. How are you doing, my friend? This is a barbarian king looking at you. Oh, my God, that's a scary look. Look at him like, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you looking at me? Does this scare you? My god, these guys' voices are really annoying. Anyway, uh, so that should be fairly populated now. We've got a few people kind of roaming around. Uh, let's throw... We should have four villagers. We've got one, two... Uh, we've got two villagers. So let's throw in a couple more villagers. There we go. So we've got our four villagers now. What is up, team? How are we all doing? What are you building? I don't know what they're doing, but they're going in there. All right, so that is all of that sorted. We kind of need to sort out our... Uh, balloons and make them a little bit taller. So I think we're going to get on to doing that right now. So we need for that is a fence. Uh, oh, we'll probably need actually the wool again because they'll probably go, oh, we need more wool. Oh, I just put the fence back. Damn it. Fence. Go. And I think that's everything uh, that we need for these actually. Yeah, because we've got this stone. So how tall are we making these? I made one somewhere else and I want it all to be even. So, oh, here we go. What does this say? This is 
One, two, three, four, five high. All right. Stop it, spring trap. I just get hit by my own spring trap. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. Then on the fifth, oh, on the fifth one, we come out. And we have three balloons that then will sit on top. Do, do, do. Because the balloons actually sit higher than the walls in the actual game. I had to go back and check everything and see where it all was. And that is what they look like. Look at that. That looks beautiful. It looks really out of proportion, actually. But it's true to form-ish. That's kind of what it looks like. So let's take this one down as well. Three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. And boom, that's looking good. So after what we're going to be doing here is... Oh, he just used the spring trap. Awesome. Uh, we're going to be going and doing the outside buildings. So as you can see, we still require like a load of outside buildings uh, around here. And then what we're going to be doing is... That's going to be pretty much the base finalized. And then we're going to go down and do some tricks that you guys have been telling me in the comment section. If you have any really cool ideas, please do throw them in the comment section down below. Uh, I've had some people give me awesome ideas for a better spring trap, uh, for actual cannons that work, for like having villagers as wizards and stuff like that. So make sure you leave them down below uh, and I'll definitely be looking through them and hopefully we'll be able to get some of your ideas uh, into, into this world and make the world even better. And then some people asked... Uh, oh, can we can we download this once you've completed it? Can we go on it and play it? Uh, I'm not 100% how, how that works, but if I can get it so that you guys can download it and play it, of course I'll do that for you. No! The archers had fallen off. Damn it. Uh, of course I'll get that for you, and that'll be pretty cool if you guys can run around my base. And loads of you guys have also said that you were making your own bases, so I'm happy... Oh yeah, of course, they're uh, pressure plates. I'm happy that I have inspired you to get on Minecraft and uh, just destroy and make some of your own bases, uh, which is really, really cool. So these were the black ones, black, black, and black, button, button, and button. Nice. And this is the last one in the center. Look at this villager. He's so confused about this spring trap. What is going on here, villager? What are you doing? Get off the spring trap. Get off it. You're going to hurt yourself. Even giants can't survive the spring trap. They die, which means you'll die. Yeah, let's kill him. No, oh. it'd be pretty cool if we can get it so they do spring off uh, like spring miles away Which is what I'm going to try and do It might re uh, require downloading some mods and stuff, but it would definitely be worth it Just having like actual spring traps firing you miles away It'd be really annoying actually if I hit it uh, and then I went on it, but I don't know Oh what there's a baby villager up there in the archer tower. Can you see that? Damn it, they're spawning baby villagers. So that's all the balloons sorted in here. They're all nice and tall now. Uh, we do have some around the outside that we need to sort out, just like this one. So let's get going on this. Continuity is everything, guys. Continuity is everything. Uh, some of you people also said that I should put some uh, torches on the walls. Now, I'm not sure about that because the walls actually don't light up at this level, but... It definitely would make the village look very, very badass. It would make it look super, super cool. Uh, so I might do that at some stage. Oh, I also... Oh, yeah. Somebody said to get a giant zombie... Uh, or, sorry, giant mobs spawn or whatever. And uh, make it as your archer queen. Which I thought was pretty funny. And that would be a pretty cool thing to be able to do if I can do it. I've got to figure out if I can actually do that. That's why I'll be calling on the help of some of you Minecraft experts to guide me through this. You never know, we might be able to get a Minecrafter on this uh, to help us out as well, which would be pretty cool. Alright, so there we go. All of the balloons are now up and higher level. We've populated our village, and I've got to say, it is coming along super, super nice. So if you like this, guys, please do hit the like button down below, and give me loads of ideas in the comment section about what I should put up. Uh, and then we'll hopefully be doing a series off this, where we go and explore as the Barbarian King, and uh, come back, and, you know, it will work really, really well. It should be great fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you in the next one, but until then, peace out.